Make It Law is a song that I don't advise you do this, but I wrote it while I was on my way. I was driving. I was on like a three hour drive up to DC going to see one of my homeboys perform out there. It was something that I was writing on, an experience that I had had probably a year and a half, maybe two years prior to. And normally I don't really like to write about things that are that old or like things that I feel like I've kind of gone, gone through mentally already, but it was like what was coming out. And the first line came out and then the second line came out and then I just embraced it and just, that's how Make It Law came out. And this is my favorite song on the album. This is Dago, and you're watching Point to Prove Explained, Episode 3. Anticipating calls, how many times I gotta say what I'm gonna say to make it law? How many times I gotta say what I'm gonna say to make it law? Funny story, Make It Law almost became the title of the album. I've already explained why Point to Prove became the title of the album, but that's something like when I said that, who I was talking to or who that message was directed at, I felt like I just, what, what else can I say for you to believe me or understand where it is and I'm coming from? And that's what I meant by how many times I gotta say what I'm gonna say to make it long. I ain't been convinced. Whoever knew a fortune cookie lead to my demise. I ain't crack with no open sense. I tell the truth, look in my eyes. Whoever knew a fortune cookie lead to my demise. I ain't crack with no open sense. I tell the truth, look in my eyes. That's a true story. The thing is, I don't even like fortune cookies, so I never ate fortune cookies before this, but there was a conversation I had after reading the fortune and the conversation was surrounded by the fortune itself. You know, after that conversation, it put me into an unfavorable position. You know, I, I don't touch fortune cookies, though. <laughs> I hope you call me back. Try not to look like I'm depleted like your favorite slacks. But I'm Try not to look like I'm depleted like your favorite slacks. That's just some wordplay like, Depleted slacks, you know, try not to look like I'm depleted, like your favorite slacks. Hold me one, grip the steering wheel tight. When you know the road is done, I did some shit I know ain't right. Call you back, then drive home drunk. Focus on the road ahead, forget my vice with rising sun. I never told you. Grip the steering wheel tight. When you know the road is done, I did some shit I know ain't right. Call you back, then drive home drunk. Focus on the road ahead, forget my vice with rising sun. Like when I said, you know, grip the steering wheel tight when you know the road is done. I think it's it's hard for us sometimes to understand that a situation has ran its course and that's when you try and hold on to it the tightest but when you know that you probably should just let that situation go sometimes it's really that's when it's the hardest to do that i left you a message i write this in apology whoever next to deal with me might fulfill my prophecy your baby father prodigy i know my father proud of me but i ain't who i meant to be i flipped the coin on tails twice a sheet as the analogy I write this an apology, whoever next to deal with me Might fulfill my prophecy, a baby father prodigy I know my father proud of me, but I ain't who I meant to be I flipped the coin on tails twice and she is the analogy I said to flip the coin on tails twice because you think you flip a coin Like that's a 50-50 chance to get on heads or on tails But that doesn't then mean that you won't flip the coin on tails twice And so I guess the point that I was trying to prove there is that no pun intended. <laughs> the point that I was trying to prove there was that if you flip the coin just because you're doing what you're supposed to do doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to happen the way that you want them to all the time. This is Dago. I appreciate you for tuning in. Point to Prove Explained, Episode 3. See you next week.